course what to do. And like I said yesterday, that whole thing needs to be really, really consistent. You know, it's just like with kids. You have to be really, really consistent about that stuff. But anyway, so I drove in this morning and Siri was over there teaching her horse how to not get fly sprayed. Okay? <coughs> and how she was teaching her horse how to not get fly sprayed. Okay, so you guys can help me out here. What's the first thing you need to know about training horses? Make the wrong thing, have the right thing, easy. But what? How, how do you do that? Who said that? And what did you say? They learn from the release of pressure. Whatever they are doing when you stop doing what you're doing, they write it down in their little book. Okay? And Siri was trying to get the fly spray on a horse. She started spraying, her horse walked around and walked around, and then she stopped spraying, and she made the horse stop. And then she started spraying again, the horse walked around and walked around, and she stopped spraying, and then made the horse stop. So she applied fly spray until the horse moved, and then she took the fly spray away. And then she applied fly spray until the horse moved, and then took the fly spray away. If you were trying to teach your horse to move when you put the fly spray on it, that's how I'd do it. If you're trying to teach your horse to not move when you put the fly spray on it, so can I borrow your horse for a second? Does that make sense, Siri? Thank you. So all I would do is, now when you work on this, use water. Fly spray is expensive. So when you start fly spraying the horse and they move around, just keep fly spraying them. It's just like basic desensitizing. I'm fly spraying her and fly, see how, see how well Siri taught this horse to move around? Because I started spraying and she started trotting. And she's still trotting and she stops right there and I stop fly spraying. So what you've got to do before you do anything with a horse is you've got to teach them how to do that. Right now I'm not fly spraying her. I'm teaching her to accept the fly spray. Does that make sense? So I'm going to wander up here and start fly spraying again. And she starts to move and right there she stops and I quit. So can you see when she was trotting around a minute ago, she was only trotting around because she thought that would make the fly spray go away. And she trotted around for a while and she trotted and trotted and trotted and it's not going away. What else can I do? And she slowed and kind of stopped and the fly spray stopped. And she's like, well, hang on now. I've got it written in my book here that if the fly spray comes and I move around, it goes away. Let me cross that out. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to write here, I don't move and the fly spray goes away. So I'm going to try it again. I'm going to come up here and start to spray and there's no movement and I'll stop. Basic desensitizing. Come up here, I'll start to spray. She moves, she stops. I stop fly spraying. I come over here, start to fly spray. She doesn't move and now a horse can be fly sprayed standing still. Everything is that simple. But you just have to be aware in your head that your horse does not learn from pressure. They learn from release of pressure. I'm not a big fan of brushing horses. Some lady asked me about brushing horses before.